welcome to this uh, little tutorial in Adobe After Effects to look at the wiggle transform function. Specifically, how we can make the wiggle transform function work on text. Because as you will see, it isn't naturally applied for text. And we have to do a couple of minor steps to make sure that it can work on text as well. So firstly, what is wiggle transform? Let me go through this. This will work incidentally for CS4 and possibly for CS3, although I'm not sure uh, whether the function was in then, but certainly for CS4 and for CS5. Okay, I've got After Effects open. The first thing I need to do is create a new composition. The new composition icon is here. That's the quickest way of doing it. So I'm going to click on that and it gives me the composition settings dialog box. I'm going to leave it to default comp1 and I'm going to use the preset PAL D1DV widescreen square pixels and it is five seconds long. That's fine, just click OK. That creates a new composition. Now I can do things. The first thing I want to do is create a shape. So I've got the shape tools here. If you don't have, they're under this little place here, if you don't actually have the star showing, you click the little triangle and you have all the options and you just go down and select the star. Then when you click and drag on your screen, it's going to use this fill color and this stroke color. And at the moment my stroke is zero, so I'm going to make it look thoroughly revolting with a, a blue and yellow and a stroke of three. Click and drag. If you hold the space bar while you still have your finger down on the mouse, you can move it into place. And I would add, encourage you to play with the control key, which changes the way that it pitches. The alt key, and you can move it around with just an outline. And the uh, shift key, which will always hold it straight in the middle. So just play around with those keys. Anyway, I have a little star that I've created. Brilliant. Now I can apply the wiggle transform. Now to apply one of these little transforms, you don't go up to effects because these are applied from the timeline. This is the timeline here. You can apply it either here where you've got an add button or up here where you have the same add button. But I'm going to do it from the timeline. If you don't see this, you need to twirl open this little twirly and then contents under contents you have this little add button click add you've got a whole series of things you can add we're going to add wiggle transform click on wiggle transform and there is wiggle transform applied now wiggle transform isn't very intuitive this is why we're doing this particular um, uh, tutorial for instance if I start to move things around well even what do I move look at all wiggles per second we'll change that no nope, that doesn't seem to have any effect leave that at say two um, temporal phase nothing's happening on the screen no that's not doing anything um, reset that one if you want to reset by the way click on right click on it you can always reset no to make wiggle transform work you remember wiggle transform the key is in changing the transform functions so under wiggle transform open it up you have a transform for wiggle transform and when you start moving these things let me move scale and start to show you you start seeing that it's actually changing on screen. I start to move position, X and Y, and I start to move rotation. Now, Wiggle Transform is self-animating. So if I hit my space bar to play, the screen soft, the screen capture software unfortunately doesn't like it. So I'm going to, I'm going to drag through. You can see how it moves. If you don't want to see this outline, by the way, you can turn it off here. Just this little button will turn on and off the shape. And now if I move it through, you can see what Wiggle Transform is doing. It's making itself animate. I didn't need to do anything. No keyframes. Off it goes. Fantastic. You can then add another effect. And the one to add under the Add button here under Contents, I would say, is the repeater. You can add the repeater and you can open up the repeater and play around with its settings. I'm not going to I'm not going to do that at the moment um, but there's a whole series of settings you can open up in the transform and for the repeater you can see there's all sorts of different things you can do with that so you can have end opacity and start opacity and, and all sorts anyway what will happen is all the stars will move the same which is okay maybe you don't want them to move the same maybe you want it to look somewhat different what you can do is you can take the repeater and drag it above the wiggle transform when you let go now as you can see the stars are all in a different place all wiggling but in a completely different and random way
So that's how you play with wiggle transforms and effects. The order that effects are applied, apl the order that effects are applied, as you can see, makes a massive difference. So that would be the wiggle transform. Now, say I want to do all of this to text. So I'm going to turn the twirlies and shut that layer. I'm going to turn that layer off so I can't see it. And I'm going to collect my type tool, which is just here. And I'm going to type the word text. Okay. Then I'm going to collect my arrow key and move it to the center. Now, if you know text and you sc scroll that down, you also have an animate button. If you click the animate button, there's a whole load of things, but there's no wiggle transform. But just think how good wiggle transform would look on text. But it's not there, you can't apply it. Well, there is one step we can take that will convert these letters into shapes that we can then apply wiggle transform to. So, select your text layer. Go up to layer, and then towards the bottom, you have this little option that says, create shapes from texts. Click on that, and it doesn't look any different here, but look on your timeline. Your text has been turned off, and your text outlines a new layer has been created. These are shape layers. I can scroll this layer shut, I can twirl open the text outlines, and I've got my add button. And when I click my add button, there's wiggle transform. Click on wiggle transform, there's one other step we need to take, really. What we ought to do is we ought to group together all these letters. So the next thing we can do is click Add, Group, and then select the top letter, hold the Shift key, select the bottom letter, drag them all into the word Group. Then we can twirl open our Wiggle Transform. Remember, Wiggle Transform, the key is always in the word Transform. Open up the Transform properties and then play with scale, play with position, play with anchor point as well if you really want to, and also we can play with rotation a little bit. And then we have animating text. But that's how you can apply wiggle transform to text. You can take a text shape and apply all the shape animation features, which is all of these ones here, simply by selecting your text, selecting the layer menu, and create shapes from text. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and you can create some really enjoyable and fun animations. My name's Andrew Davis. Goodbye for now.